Little Caesars Pizza is a multinational pizza chain that started in 1959. Thank you for your suggestions. Little Caesars Pizza was established in 1959 in Garden City, Michigan by Michael and Marion Illich. Mike served in the United States Marine Corps and played on the Detroit Tigers farm team until a leg injury cut his professional sports career short. He sold awnings afterwards and then founded Little Caesars in 1959. He and his wife Marion spent their entire life savings opening the doors to their pizza place on May 8, 1959 in that original location on Cherry Hill Road in Garden City, Michigan. Marion carefully recorded Little Caesar's very first sales in a spiral notebook. At the time, the restaurant offered spaghetti, fried chicken, french fries, fish, hot dogs, and shrimp. And then those early days, the place was called Little Caesar's Pizza Treat. The first day they were open, they made 49 pizzas. Little Caesar's found a niche in retail pizza by offering quality at low prices and opened a second restaurant in just two years. By the end of the 1960s, Little Caesar's had built or franchised over 50 restaurants, including one in Canada. During that decade, delivery was a service of most Little Caesars restaurants, but in 1971, the chain moved to carry out only. The restaurant set itself apart from many competitors by using only natural ingredients, including high gluten flour in the pizza dough, specifically grown California tomatoes and grade A cheese. Little Caesars still prides itself on the use of all natural spices as opposed to the synthetic flavorings used throughout the pizza industry. The 1970s were years of innovation and phenomenal growth for Little Caesars. In 1971, the company began its two-for-one pizza pizza, two great pizzas, one low price concept and made it permanent feature of the company's marketing campaigns in 1975. The marketing strategy had forced competitors in some heavily saturated areas to mimic the two-for-one offer. In 1977, Little Caesars also introduced drive through windows at its quick-serve locations, and in 1979 developed the pizza conveyor oven that sped up production of pizza and other baked items. During the 1980s, Eilich continued Little Caesars' rapid growth and marketing innovation. In 1980, the chain had 226 units with sales of $63.6 million. By mid-decade, annual sales had grown more than fivefold to $340 million. The company achieved successful expansion through an emphasis on several simple concepts, market saturation, two pizzas for a price of one, and carry out only. Approximately 98% of Little Caesars units were 1,200 to 1,800 square foot units offering takeout only. Overhead and maintenance on these shops is considerably lower than that of competitors who offered sit-down or even delivery-only service because the restaurants didn't require waiters, waitresses, busboys, dishwashers, or even delivery personnel. In 1984, the company built its 500th restaurant and then saw the 1,000th Little Caesars just two years later. By that time, the company was not only well established in 38 states and parts of Canada, but also had built an outpost in Great Britain. Marketing innovations included the first college campus restaurant at the University of Oklahoma and the first hospital restaurant in Detroit. The Illich Holdings, Inc. manages the professional services to companies owned by Marion Illich. The Illiches purchased the NHL hockey team, the Detroit Red Wings, in 1982 and has a NHL arena, as of 2017, named after the pizza chain. They also purchased the Detroit Tigers in 1992. In a joint venture with Kmart, Little Caesars built over 400 pizza stations in Kmart stores in 1992. The self-serve restaurants featured pasta and vegetable salads, soups, fresh fruits in the standard pizza, sandwich and hot pasta, 
It also constituted almost half of the Little Caesars 1992 unit growth. The company also introduced new items like crazy bread, chocolate chocolate, ravioli ravioli, Caesar sandwiches, and baby pan pan lunch pizzas. Throughout the 1990s and early 2000s, Little Caesars was commonly found in the Kmart stores, most specifically in big Kmarts and super Kmarts. Little Caesars pizzas was also included in the many of the older, remodeled Kmart locations. The first Kmart and the first Little Caesars were built in Garden City, Michigan. After Kmart's bankruptcy issues, many Kmarts replaced the Little Caesars with their own branded K Cafe. In the 1990s, the chain opened its own pizza playground restaurant maybe as a way to compete with Chuck E. Cheese. They named it Caesarland, which featured interactive play equipment, sports, video games, and more. In 1997, the chain introduced shaker boards to advertise their hot and ready pizza, a large pepperoni pizza sold for $5. The concept was so successful that it became a permanent fixture of the chain, and the Little Caesars business model has shifted to focus more on carryout. Back in the 1970s, they opened a Little Caesars Mushroom Farms, Inc. to grow, package, and distribute mushrooms to all their locations. It worked so well, additional products were added, and it gradually became Blue Line Food Service. Even though it was founded to supply Little Caesars, Blue Line took on other clients in the 1990s and now has 14 U.S. locations and one Canadian one. Little Caesars is still carry out only. With everyone else already offering delivery, Little Caesars would likely struggle to do what others are already doing. There's also the fact that the customer base for many locations tend to be in the economically disadvantaged areas, and that would mean lower tips for drivers. Delivery fees would raise the price of the pizza, and they prided themselves on remaining super affordable. There's just no reason to start delivering now. Between 2008 and 2015, Little Caesars was the fastest growing pizza chain in the United States. As of 2017, the company had 5,463 locations, including U.S. and international units. Have you ever thought of owning your own Little Caesars pizza? I know my ex-wife did. The Little Caesars website offers some basic numbers outlining the costs and fees needed to open your own Little Caesars franchise, including $350,000 required in net worth, a $150,000 liquid asset requirement, a $20,000 franchising fee, and a 6% royalty per week. As of May 8, 2023, there are 4,169 Little Caesars locations in the United States. The state with the most number of Little Caesars locations is in California with 539 locations, which is about 13% of all Little Caesars locations in the United States. On a side note, do you remember when Little Caesars used to sell the square pizzas in the 1990s? I always remember when they used to come two in a cardboard sleeve in a paper bag back in the good old days when I could easily eat one pizza by myself in one sitting on those Friday nights. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this content and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.